kings of culture. What's going on, everybody? What, 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 what's going on, everybody? I'm your host, Steve. It's Chris Crystal. What's the king of the happy days? Are you gonna shut up so we can answer? So shut your feet. So we're talking about black women. How could I forget? This is the Minority Plus One Podcast. Yeah. Yeah. What's going on, everybody? And welcome to the show. It's the king of the Heffries. It's, it's Oreo. We are back once again, podcasting to you. And as always, we got the ladies. Yeah, yay. Darlings, tell them, who are you? It's Sam Crystal. It's Bernie. Ben. And I'm your host, Steven. This is the Minority, Minority Plus One, one Podcast. podcast. Choo. 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 Tis the season to be jolly. Fuck a fuck a fuck. And Britney's in a bad fucking mood. No, I, I think what? you are what? actually. What? Yeah, you came in That's wild, on Steve. no Just type of like no type of jolliness. No type of. We all put in the group chat. Hey, make sure you're festive. Your I didn't ass. see that. I did. Okay, Britney got yeah. the memo. I clearly got the memo. And you really thought I was going to? Listen, when have I ever gotten? Festive? Listen. This is you knew what you had to do and you didn't do it. So you're the one who's a humbug. By a humbug. That's you. French. Mm. Mm. Ebenezer Scrooge, little son. He's really underrated. I think he's little a son. He's <laughs> what'd she say? Uh, not, <laughs> go ahead. Talk about talk, talk about who's underrated. I'm just saying Scrooge is underrated. And I played Scrooge in a Christmas carol in my elementary did. school sure. play. Mm -hmm. I'm sure. They were like, who? That fucking little grouchy, miserable <laughs> child right there? Perfect. Scrooge. <laughs> Get him in there. And killed you. it, too. Huh? He right. killed it. <laughs> <laughs> we know. We, we, well, we know. Well, season's greetings, heifers. How are you? Happy holidays. Ma it's Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Merry Christmas. It's Happy Holidays. I'm covering everybody. Screw you. It's There's Merry people Christmas. People practice different things. I'm covering it all. Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, everything. Happy holidays, y'all. So Thanks happy Kwanzaa. Happy holidays and Merry Christmas. Yeah. Yes, but it's still Merry Christmas. All right. So how's everybody's Christmas week? How's everybody's everything? Everybody excited? Not really. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, know. I fin if you're asking, I finished Christmas shopping for, uh, that's pretty much it. I went bowling this weekend with my girls. I'm actually kind of high in bowling. I didn't notice until I've done it this weekend. So... Watch out, bowling tournament. Can they You're just next. suck that bad that I it doubt, makes you look good? Okay. No, I was not. I thought I was going to be fucking terrible. Sam, what's your high? I was high. I was Sam, high. What's your, I was Sam. Name, like 119. That ain't bad. Are you serious? That ain't horrible. Well, you could do higher <laughs> than that? Yeah, girl. Oh, fuck out of here. There, I, there's something. Let me tell you, right? Yeah, something. Yeah, bitch. Actually, I, when, yeah. When you think you know it, motherfucker. Yeah. This bitch every week is something different. She was the captain of the football <laughs> team one week. Then she was a fucking soccer player the following week. Then this bitch is a bowling champion. I can't like don't I, get mad. That no, no, no. I just can't keep up. I can't keep up. Imaginable. Then she was the captain of the swimming team. You then so, she was a lifeguard. There's like so many. When you think you it. know a person, no, no, no. When you no, I'm hating <laughs> because when hate you it. think you know a person. Every week I learn something new about your motherfucking ass. <laughs> like this, now you're a bowling I, I didn't say, champion. I like to think I can bowl, but I probably can't bowl that good. But I have Cut bowled in like at least the 160s. Oh, so it's not that bad. Shit. It's not too far away from what I did. It's actually a lot farther it's away. not too, too. I'm thinking this bitch is a bowling champion. Like she gets her bowl. Her, her, her bowling. She has an actual a bowling. Little bit. Who no, knows? I'm might, the, she's who talking knows? like she got a custom a bowling is there a out there for me. Listen, she's talking like she got a custom league. bowling ball. I might. I just might. I'm cut good it enough. out. I'm good enough to be groomed in that area. Groomed? Yes, to have somebody come in, coach me how to really. You know what it know? is? I bet Brittany gets really good. Like I bet Brittany is really good at bowling. Like after like a nice breakup. Because those 10 pins look like 10 dicks as she screams yuck, spits Why on the ball the to knock them down. <laughs> <Are you serious? laughs> I don't think she would want to knock down those dicks. Sorry. 
<laughs> I just felt like I can insert well, that joke in because yeah, I no. stole I stole that from Jim Norton. It was terrible. And, yeah, that I, thought, I didn't get it. <laughs> it was horrible. Ten dicks. Actually, I don't know. He was talking about Ellen. De- he was talking about. <laughs> he was, <laughs> you good man? Hold on. Like, this is Christmas. It was this. I know. Why are we talking, talking about dick dicks and, and spitting on the dick? Sorry. And... Wait. You, it was just, you put spit on the dick. No, he no I said it. He said spitting on the so, bowling hold ball. Hold on, guys. Listen. Oh. <laughs> I was Yo, trying guys, to finagle see, it. Why, I failed. Though, like, I failed. Listen. Why? I'll tell you why if you shut your face. <laughs> so the the original joke was like he was. They were talking about Ellen DeGeneres and they were talking about her bowling shoes. Right, that she wears. So she was. So Jim Norton was like, "Mr. Generous, you don't have to yell yuck and spit on the ball um, when you're bowling just because you think the pins look like penises. Get it? Because she's a lesbian." So I was trying to finagle that. It was a complete fail. I mean, Let's yeah, just move on. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that was cringe. Look, not Terrible. every shot lands, and I said disclaimer. Hey, how was you guys' weekend though? Eh. Sorry. Right. Eh. Yeah. Eh. Same shit. What about yeah, any Christmas preparations for you two? Uh, You're um, the one who's so adamant about saying Merry Christmas over a Happy Holiday. So no, I no, 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 no. You no, have no, a no, Christmas no. tree wrapped up your ass. So like, not at talk all. About it. I don't even have. I don't even have a stocking hung up. Are you kidding me? So then why are you tripping if I say you Happy don't Holidays? have a tree? No. You don't have a tree up? No. Damn. Sarah. Neither do I. That's but I don't really you know, fuck I with. I just noticed that too. Woo! You don't have one up either. Why? Is there a reason? I don't really what? like Christmas like that. We talked about. Well, you like know it's not week. Halloween. Yeah, if it's yeah, that's she, the only uh, holiday I get jiggy with. I thought y'all knew this. Yeah, she doesn't. She doesn't. <clears throat> not for anything. Thanksgiving's a close next. That and the Puerto Rican Day Parade. That's about it. You know, I've never been. And I lived in New York City. Can you believe that? Mm. I've been to Puerto Rico, but I ain't been to the Puerto Rican Day Parade. <sighs> Anyway, so Steve, yes. you went Christmas shopping or nah? Psst. Nope. <laughs> nope. I always wait till legit the last second. Terrible, because there's nothing left when you do that. Figures. Well, I'm only getting shit for the kids. All the adults yeah. are getting nothing. No, I know. After yeah. this year, I love y'all all my. Fr- I love all my friends. I love y'all, but no more. This is all for the kids. After this, I said it. I said it last podcast. Year. I wasn't joking. I'm poor on this side. It's too many kids in my life that I gotta get gifts for. I'm done. But, um, Britt, you went Christmas shopping or not? Um, yeah, I had to. I had to get stuff for the kids. I had to, which is really the only people I bought stuff for this year, besides myself, and she's like, no, me. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. But other than that, that's really it. Which kid do you like more? Are you serious? Don't act like that's not a thing, because I, I believe it's a thing. My mom definitely prefers my brothers over me. <laughs> are you serious? Those I'm are like awful. her. Those that's are like her. Like my mom. No, those are like her bros. Like she loves them. They're like. I her don't favorite. care what nobody says. Nobody loves their kids. At least I know I'm not the least liked. My little sister is. Thank God. I feel like it's. I feel like it varies. Like my mom every, likes my brother more than me. Every kid comes up a little bit <laughs> at at different times, but it varies. But I love them both equally. I'm not I just differently. Not favoritism i love you both equally just differently no yes i don't love them differently (laughs) you know because i always felt like my mom loved my brother a little bit more so i will try not to be like that right Eh, it'll happen it's okay so speaking of christmas gifts and shit like that what's the cheapest christmas gift you ever got Mm. that i ever received yeah yeah cheapest christmas gift you ever now are received. we talking single gift or i'm talking just uh, you open you unwrapped it and you were like what the fuck is this like that kid like you ever seen that kid that opened that <laughs> <laughs> that that no he actually was appreciated you ever seen that kid they wrapped the avocado and he opened he, he opens it up he's like it's an avocado no. thanks no. Uh-uh. like you gotta play it off like that like was the he avocado happy? no he, he <laughs> maybe he was did so they get him another toy after no that? they wrapped an avocado yeah oh there he god. is oh my god there he is oh <laughs> he's so off. sweet right, first off he the don't avocado even... no mind you that's probably his 10th gift yeah he, he don't know <laughs> <laughs> but i'm saying did he's you like, get right, did you get a so let me so my there. let me rephrase my question did you get a shitty gift and had to play it off like you loved of it like course. The, of course like the avocado kid Who so hasn't? of course what was the gift Who hasn't got can a you remember gift? it was some article of clothing before i realized how much i loved articles of clothing 
Okay. Like, no, like, you know, back when you were a fucking kid, yeah, you, you want, ain't you trying to toys. get no fucking sweater yeah. or socks. You trying to get fucking toys. You want the new Proton Pack. Well, you you want the new fucking turtle. Clothes, right? Sometimes it doesn't matter. Not when you're a kid. When you're a kid, you That's don't want to see an article want of toys. clothing. You want a fucking toy mm-hmm. every time. I don't get. I don't. No. Ooh, well, look, a new hat, mommy. Thanks. Fuck that. Where's my turtle, bitch? That's my what I was are thinking. So strategic. We always open up our Christmas pajamas Christmas Eve. So that was the one oh gift we were allowed God, to open. Oh your family makes me and throw they were up. Christmas <laughs> we still do it every year. Every year, here, here's your oh. gift. Christmas Eve, <laughs> our one gift, and they're always pajamas. They're always Christmas pajamas, so we sleep in them and Yo, we wake up on them. Honestly, I, I, I'm keeping it's this a bug, and I only say it because there's slight jealousy on my part because it's the kind of corny shit that I would love to do if I ever have a family. Mm. Uh, For sure. But until that happens, <laughs> you're going to rag on the it? Corniest exactly, shit. basically. You're the corniest <laughs> shit I've ever seen in my life. I mean, I wow. love <laughs> it. It is corny. I can't even hold you. I love it though. It's, Until it's like, I'm it's able to do it. It's a cute, but no, it's, it's absolutely cute, corny. It's absolutely it corny. It's year. cute. It's it's adorable, but it's absolutely corny. Okay, yeah, no, like, this is all coming together. from a place of hate. Yeah. <laughs> This is this. It's all from a place of hate. I'm happy for you, but I also hate you at the same time. So it grosses me out. <laughs> what about you, Britt? Can you think of a gift as an oh adult God, or a kid course, that you had um, to play? It was terrible. When you had to play. Unfortunately, every boyfriend I've had has been terrible at giving gifts. Um, Ooh, I got a story. For literally. Oh God. <laughs> God. God. Here um, we go. I've received some horrible gifts throughout the years. Um, and I feel like I'm not that fucking hard. Like, uh, I even you be are happy. A little... I'm not that difficult. Can people, I'm really not. Can people I feel who like listen to this podcast, who have listened to this podcast, please comment and just say, Brittany, you're full of it. You yeah. are. Are you you're a little, little difficult? You, yes. I'm not a difficult person to shop for. Girl, really someone got up. you an edible arrangement for like your birthday. You complained. That was Mother's Eye. Oh, you know sorry. That. And you complained about it. And that's a great gift. And you gift. know what? You're like, you well, I got to digest it. Now it's done. Now, so it's not really a gift because I ate it. <laughs> that's a gift. That's a great gift. Edible arrangement. You know what? Yeah, fuck that edible arrangement. All right, See, I said it. <laughs> ungrateful. I didn't, See, I didn't want that edible arrangement. Ungrateful. I didn't want ungrateful. that edible arrangement. Okay, I didn't want it. Yes, they're great. They're a cute little thought. Gift, they're tasty, but not. A they're really cute. Main Mother's Day. Anyway, look at you. See, anyway, anybody guys, trying to hear? Not you say that. Anyways, I'm really not that difficult. Um, uh, just I would even be happy. Just give me Dunkin' gift cards. Give nigga, me. Sephora, I don't believe that. Sephora, if your boyfriend got you a fucking Dunkin' gift card for Christmas, you'd be pissed. I mean, I wouldn't want that to be the only thing, but yeah, <laughs> See, uh, throw see, in a Dunkin' gift says card. Says the person says she's simple. Um, <laughs> some makeup. I'm so, uh, literally, uh, my my likes are very easy. Um, Some fucking weed, some clothes. I love shopping. <laughs> like, come on. I'm just like, come on. But anyways, I give have gotten one, gifted with the most terrible give me a fucking system. gifts. Um, a really bad one. Okay. Really bad. So one year. <laughs> uh. And he watches this. All right. Um, my baby father gave me this ugly ass purple velvet purse that looked like he just got it off the rack at Claire's or something. I don't even fucking know. It was velvety and like purple and the class was all cheap and weird and the <laughs> chain was like Was rusted. it a brand? This doesn't it was rusted. No, no no special brand. I'm telling you, it should well, like came from it should Claire's. be the thought that from counts. Claire's. What are we talking about? No, there's and a then, line cuz I have one. There's then a he line. adds in. So I open up the purse first I'm like, "Oh, Okay. Purple. And then he uh, he throws in a digital picture album, one of those picture albums that switches like uh-huh. the picture every time. And I'm like, <clears throat> okay. Did you like that at least? No. And then Why? and then he gives me a surround sound for that, like a surround sound with this velvet weird ass fucking purse. <laughs> and you gonna give me a fucking photo album and then be like, go hey, make us. But Brit, no. hold on, hold I didn't on, want Brit. Any of this shit. Hold you on. Know what he got that hold on, hold Pele, on. Pele, Pele coat. You know how much a Pele coat. Ah, this is that Pele, <laughs> Pele, Pele coat. All right. Oh you my hold God. On. But, but, some velvet clay before, bags. I have one. Hold on. Before we all start going into it, guys, we gotta take our first Brit. break, y'all. Back to bringing by the Kelly 
so Pele what's up with the beautiful, beautiful Pele Pele Co, okay? And wait, wait, did he get it from Barney's? Huh? I ordered huh? it off the I'll, website. Motherfucker, I'm talking about the purse. Get it? Because it was purple. Oh, because Barney's. <laughs> Come on. And it was fuzzy. I just got it. <laughs> it was no, fuzzy. But literally that shit had to go up in the closet. It's been up in the, it's probably still up in the closet. I just broke out the photo album to possibly put in my room so I can like rotate some photos. But yeah. I never used the surround sound. I never used the, and he still talks about it. He never even wore it. I'm like, what? Like, <laughs> Yo, you, know, like, you, you know what you should do? Fucking... You should show up this I Christmas with it. No, that I sell bag. Hell no. <laughs> you should see. You Fuck should... no. <laughs> Just to be funny. <laughs> no. Just to be funny. If you're like, you see, I wear it today. <laughs> oh my God. Die, I got, yeah. listen, I got like, uh, I got so many. Ba- I'm with Brittany. All my boyfriends so many bad gifts. gave me terrible Christmas gifts. One gave me like, Unfucking grateful. No, no, no. One gave me ungrateful. Brett, do you remember um that li- uh, Elizabeth Taylor perfume called like White Diamonds? White Diamonds, which my, that's my mom's favorite. Mind you. And that's an old lady. We perfume. have to literally get that every. That's uh, if you want to get my mom anything. Let it's me White tell Diamonds. you something. She that perfume, like ten bottles. Yes. So that is if anyone knows know, grandmas, moms, yeah. aunties. It smells so old. He got yeah. me that. I had to pretend like it like did. Wind up giving it to my mom. <laughs> Fucking. I got one where, <laughs> where my, at the time, my boyfriend at the time, I bought him a expensive ass hockey jersey. You remember how much those are? Like the, the official hockey jersey, like 150 bucks. Yeah. Who was it? For, yep. Who was it? I'm not telling you who it was for. No, like the name on the oh, jersey. Oh, the uh, Islanders, New York Islanders or something like that. Um, Black and white. It was really fucking nice. And, um. This fucking motherfucker, I had to work. This is when the, mo- this is way, this is years ago. So this is pre, pre, pre COVID when you had to work on Christmas or Christmas Eve. So I worked in the mall. I worked at Soma and I already gave him his gift because I can never wait. Right. This motherfucker, yeah. he drops me off at work. He comes back. He's like, Merry Christmas. So he clearly bought something while he was in the mall that day. He dropped me off. It was a fucking cheap ass. And I found the receipt to the shit. I found the receipt to the shit. It was like $35 silver chain that said, I love you to the... It was a locket that said, I love you to the moon and back. The shit was fucking ugly. Was Aww. it from Piercing Pagoda? That's cute. It was Not from even. like it, one of those shits. Yeah, it was cheap okay. as shit. It mm-hmm. was ugly. Mind you, when I found the receipt, this motherfucker, instead of spending the entire money he had on me, he bought himself a pair of earrings that were more money than the fucking necklace he bought me. (laughs) (laughs) This fucking motherfucker. This motherfucker. So I got I got one more and it was one of my really good friends that I grew up with. (laughs) This motherfucker. Her. (laughs) This bitch. So is it Vaz? No, it's not Vaz. <laughs> I'm not saying it is definitely not Vaz. Vaz is actually a really great gift giver. But um, one of my really good friends I noticed is like third grade. This fucking bitch, and I hope you're watching. <laughs> this fucking bitch. So it's it's Christmas. We exchange gifts, and she gives me like a box of Chanel Chance. So Chanel Chance has like different scents. I already have one that my mom got me a couple Christmases ago. So it was she's never been a great gift giver. This friend, and it was a little weird when I got the box because it didn't have the plastic wrapping in it. Yeah. It was just I was so confused. So I sprayed a spray, and with Chanel Chance that scent lasts all fucking day like so but when i sprayed hers it would never last so some told me to look at the bottom of the bottle right and this shit so the original obviously chanel is made in france tell me why this fucking perfume was made in iowa Uh, oh no (laughs) this shit was fake (laughs) this bitch gotta be fake Chanel chanel perfume for christmas i was like damn baffled Straight back. <laughs> Fucking You're better off getting like a bath and body or a spritz. I could have been okay with that. I mm. feel like she, she, and no funny shit, I feel like she re gifted a gift. Like yeah. someone got it for her and then she yeah. gave it to me. Well, yeah. ain't payback a bitch. Cause you did that to one of your fucking gifts. You re-gifted the fucking perfume somebody got for you to your mom. So then they repurposed oh, that gift. Ain't that karma? Sure. Whatever you want to call it. I gotta start doing that because I don't I don't <laughs> oh re-gift shit. God. But you know what? I think I think people are onto that. Like, I need to re-gift some gifts I got because that shit's Listen, trash. I I mean, I'm just saying I don't see nothing wrong, but damn, don't you ain't gotta give me the most expensive. <laughs> 
Okay, anything not trash right yeah, yeah. you know how Sam, I'm, Sam, would you have, would i'm you... not an ungrateful i've gotten nothing but horrible gifts my whole fucking life okay but damn bro you ain't gotta give me no Son, fake shit sam yeah. you sound like yo she just sounds like her life was like she lived in a dryer box like yo i never got nothing good my entire life for christmas ever well, Ever, it would be like this. No, no funny terrible. shit. It would be like this. It's always I'd be like, Mom, been, it's always like, been cold in my stocking. Everything slightly. It's always been that slightly. way. And I'm gonna tell you why. So my mom, God bless her, single mom, struggling, ha- hard time getting us gifts. Right? She would sign up for like um, adoptive family. Oh and shit, they, you too? Yes, yes. <laughs> but they would never get what we wanted. Right. <laughs> so like, I think I wanted like uptowns or something like that or, oh my but, but god this is when uptowns were like <laughs> no 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 this is, all this is, when sense. Uptown, this this is, is like all when i was sense. a mid, like this is when i was like 12 ups was like 60 bucks 50 Sam, they weren't no. 120 like they are now but Sam. anyway but it'd be a few things they would get they wouldn't get right so they gave me that and they gave me these fucking like cleats <laughs> i don't even play <laughs> football and instead of uptowns they gave me cleats no. Wait, right. Does that yeah. make sense to you? That's fucked up. Why? Like, they go on your feet. Oh my god, Steven. Shut the fuck up. Hey, look, you <laughs> so ungrateful anyway, motherfucker. Listen, go ahead. I wasn't. Continue to be ungrateful. What can I do with cleats, dog? They, they you could have resell got them. My si- they, you could have resold them. Then they had another time eBay. they got my sizes wrong. So I mean, God bless them for trying to help, but they got it all wrong. This is why I don't help. This is why you don't help the needy. So you didn't really have any good Christmases growing up. Not really. We were really poor, girl. Yeah. Sam, every Christmas has been bad. Um, I remember one Christmas where I wonder what my mom did that year. Maybe she was scamming or some shit. I got everything I ever wanted. All right. See, there I'm you go. I'm dead serious. It was like fucking full of gifts. This is before my brothers were born. Oh no. So that's why then. So no, you sound my, like but, me. No. But, my, all my Christmases are great until all those other little fuckers came along. Yeah. <laughs> But um, I don't know what she was doing that And year, I'm talking about my cousins it. and shit. I was the first grandchild. So I got everything. I was mm-hmm. spoiled fucking rotten. And, mm-hmm. and then the Me too. next one came. Yep. Then and they... then the next one came. And Siblings my fucking guys get smaller and smaller. <laughs> no, for real. <laughs> fucking uh, Siblings shit. will fuck up everything. And it didn't ha- like. But yeah. No, I mean, that's what I'm saying. Christmas is like, eh, it's whatever. Whatever for me. Like I we more saying, enjoy it's for the kids. now that I'm older, I more enjoy spending Christmas with my friends and my loved ones and watching Christmas you know, corny shit, watching Christmas movies. Other than that, I I'm not a huge fan. Word. Oh, I don't never been. Really. I don't wake up anymore. Like, oh my god, it's Christmas morning. Yeah. Yay! That was some kid shit. Like, yeah. yeah. So but so now it's like, all right, yo, the adults in my family, uh, pff, y'all ain't getting shit until like three weeks after. Y'all just gonna have to deal with it. Uh kiddos, I get them something and then that's that's just how it goes. When people ask Damn. me, I always tell them I don't want anything, but I'm not stopping y'all from whatever. But I don't need. I think maybe or when you guys anything. have kids, it'll bring some Christmas joy back. And maybe your I parents. agree. Maybe yeah. Because you know, I get up. Do you have real I, Christmas joy? I have in to you? get up. Um, Wait, you yeah. have real, genuine Christmas joy in you? You're jolly. Not at the moment, but um, when general? my family comes and we're all together and. Um, it just feels like Christmas and we're at my grandma's and the trees lit up and all the Christmas decorations are everywhere. I feel, it feels Word. happy. Do, do, the do, the do, eggnog do, starts do, hitting. It, feels, do, do. it just feels, feels like love. I don't know. I can't explain it. Oh, oh I'm so quiet. Uh, <laughs> so fucking savvy. It feels savvy. so warm and fuzzy. It feels, it feels, warm. It feels warm. warm. It's, warm it's like everything is kept at this perfect temperature. I know. Like hot cocoa, cute. marshmallows. My grandma make a fire and we're all just by the Roasting fire. Roasting Oh my chestnuts fucking God, dude. Yeah. Yeah. I swear you know, to God. I throw on that. I swear to God. Man, you know. do, you niggas, do you niggas Carol? You seem like y'all Carol. Oh my God. Oh my no. My had us do that one fucking year and <laughs> thank God only one year because it was terrible. I can see how Carol um, it was awful, but yeah, we did that a couple years back, and she had us going from like the neighbors' houses, ringing the doorbell. No, just, yes, that's pretty embarrassing. In the neighborhood, just being like, "You hear the sleigh bells tingling, ring tick tingling." You know, yeah. they don't want to say close what. The door. They don't want to close the door. They're I like, know, right? okay. in your face, like slam. You know, none of us could sing, and probably sounded terrible. Like <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what idea she. So came okay, up with speaking that. of so- like, what's your favorite Christmas song? 
I already said mine. Let it snow, boys to men. Hands down. Ah, shit. And then, of course, I love mine. Mariah Carey's oh, yeah? Christmas album, Hands Down. I love um, The Preacher's Wife has a couple good ones up but in no there. But no funny shit. Are you not tired of hearing All I Want for Christmas is You? I'm, I'm fucking... But yeah, they yeah, act yeah, like that's the, the only song. I know, that but I've like, been I'm like, you know so what? I'm tired of it. it. But you act like that's She's, her only song. She it, has a whole fucking album. No, she just said it. But her what I'm saying is great. that that song goes number one every single year around the time. She owns Christmas. But I'm tired of that the song fucking does own song. Christmas. It does. I'm tired. I'll say it. With all due respect, that's not her fault that she, again, makes people. We just do everything better. Um, <sighs> that that like, she put out the n- most classic Christmas album of all fucking time. I don't care what anybody says. Her right. That one album is worth more than 99% of fucking artists' entire catalogs. Like that one fucking album. Who, Mariah? Yes. Yeah. Is worth more than 99.9% of fucking artists' entire catalog. Definitely her best. Her best. And well, because nobody yeah. else brings up any other Christmas artists. No one brings up what you were talking about, Shanti. She apparently has an album. She apparently, has a if you, song apparently song. Destiny Child has one. Mm-hmm. And yeah. no, none of y'all bring up any of that. You know why? Because Christmas belongs to. To Mariah, it does. Half freeze ha- over, half freeze over everything. We do it better. I've never said that she wasn't. Thank the, you, Mariah. She wasn't the queen. I'm just tired of that fucking song. Thank you, I'm Mariah. Myself, I'm tired. To be honest, I'm fucking tired. There's other great Christmas songs. There really is. Brittany put me on to that terrible Justin Bieber Christmas song. Oh my god, that, the drummer Did boy. Did you know Justin Bieber had a song with Busta Rhymes for Christmas? <laughs> No, I didn't. It sounds absolutely crazy. <laughs> it's like rub a bum bum. <laughs> I don't know why my job has the worst Christmas music, but they really have the worst, the most strangest eclectic music. I like, I, you I got like Ying Yang Twins in there. Oh, I love that. <laughs> I love that. Be jolly. Yo, like, there's happening? there's this one there's this one Christmas song that I like. Um, it's like Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Dun, 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 dun. Merry Christmas. That's Merry weird, Christmas. Though. Oh, I thought a lot of people don't song. like that one. I actually like that no, one. No, I don't mind that one. Dun, 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 dun. I don't know the words, but I just know that part. I don't know it, yeah. yeah. And of course, um, I think NSYNC has a great one, too. I, ain't gonna lie. I, I like that it's NSYNC not... song. Who doesn't like that song? Right? Mm. Nobody, nobody agrees? Which one is it? Happy Hot. Merry Christmas. I don't know that one. Merry Christmas. Yeah, I don't know that one. Oh, what? I, no. I don't know that one. <laughs> what? I know. If it ain't Mariah, don't you matter. Guys it, it you guys stop. It ain't Mariah, it don't matter. You guys are supposedly NSYNC fucking fans, and you don't know that. Did song? I say? Yeah, but like, I'm not no, a Christmas. Wait, song. I'm not like. I don't. I'm not chasing down every Christmas album they put out. Facts, I know they put one yeah. out, but I don't care. <laughs> I'm pretty sure my mom had the album. I mean, you I just went in on. Mar- it doesn't sound like you don't care. You just I went in on Mariah. Literally, like, cannot even believe you guys don't know that for song. Him. No, I don't. That is a top. That's up there too. Can't be. We don't know it. <laughs> Fair enough. That's true. Grandma, grandma got ran over by a reindeer. Is more popular. Oh. No, it's not. <laughs> no, that's. that's... No. <laughs> yes, it's it not. is. I've heard that fucking song on the radio more than I've heard that in sync fucking Christmas song. It's a number one hit. So is grandma. I've never ran over heard by that. Reindeer, and I never heard of it. Their Christmas song. Okay, never Backstreet heard Boys of it. Just came out with that Christmas album. It's pretty good. I was listening. Girl, to it over what's going yet, on with Nick Lachey? Is he raping people or something crazy? Wow, what, what the, the fuck? fuck? No, dead ass. There's like mad controversy around him, what like are you talking grooming about? people. I'm dead serious. <laughs> I'm dead ass. <laughs> I thought you as a Backstreet Boys. Well, Nick Lachey is not were, in the Backstreet you, you, Boys. He's in 98 Degrees. No, oh, sorry about that, Nick Carter. <laughs> not Nick Lachey. Nick Carter? Yeah, Nick Carter. Why did I say Nick Lachey? My bad. Sh- shout out to Nick Lachey. My bad. I was Nick Carter. He's happily, they seem Nick Carter. very happily married on Love He's supposedly, um, pr- Producer Bay, can you look up Nick Carter accusations? When you why? Because I'm dead. I'm surprised you guys haven't heard this shit. I, I Especially you. I don't care. Especially you. Sing happy holidays because y'all motherfuckers need first, help. Especially what? you. I don't care. Yeah. Sexually assaulting her on his eight. tour. Yeah, yeah. See, it's mad shit coming out about. Okay. First of all, Nick Carter. ain't got to assault anybody. Um, oh, my God. Oh, so you standing by him? You victim shaming? <laughs> I don't think You victim blaming? I don't think Oh, know. my God. <laughs> Leave, leave right the fuck now. I just heard of this, al- and once again, four victims, allegations. 
including a 15 year old girl. Why the we, fuck are we even talking about allegations? This? We do not Shut up, know. That's wow. Okay. Wow. Including I'm surprised you didn't know about this. I didn't of know. all people. Over yeah, here, I, fucking. I'm sorry, I don't. I don't fucking. Well, keep up on every day. I know his first of all, you over died, here victim blaming. I didn't victim blame. I just you said he. I don't feel Nick like Nick Carter, Carter ain't got to rape nobody. Rape anybody. He he just get it. I mean, what did you mean by that, Nick Carter? Girl. Anyway, back to Christmas shit. Yeah. That's Nick Carter. Uh, I mean, come on. Does he really need to be raped? Although some people, people, uh, some people, people feel the same way about R. Kelly. People feel the same way about most people that don't need. They why do they need to? No, rape but that's somebody? a little different because they they drug and then that's what they're saying. It, he it's did like too. They're getting off on drugging them and Stephen. <laughs> that's part of the but hold on that's part of the accusations of nick carter too that he's oh, I drugging didn't, I didn't, well i didn't yeah. see that we just yeah. briefly put a clip up but either way sorry sorry y'all i thought they knew on this christmas holiday <laughs> episode what the all right, fuck all right, nigga, first of all up? first the fucking all niggas rape every day b so shut the fuck up that's all i gotta say she's yo she can't get oh, off railing chickens and fucking episode like i don't i don't understand why rape is being brought up and, real. um <laughs> Grape. Why is I'm grape? sorry, Nick. I hope and that's none, not and true. Nobody's, nobody asked me Girl, about my favorite Christmas talk song. Talk about the fucking... Fuck huh? I hope that's not true, Nick. So. Are you going to shut up so we can answer? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I wish y'all had headphones so y'all could hear that, but you hear that on the replay. So it's you. Go ahead, Steve. Go ahead, Steve. So, my favorite Christmas song... <laughs> I can't even get the Since nobody fucking asked me... <laughs> Too busy fucking going Basically, in. There's no way Nick did anything. He did it. He did it. <laughs> look at, look at, sat right there. You First of all, me. Steve, you, you basically blame me. You just went on a Mariah case. You just went on a Mariah. You said the statistical. She's been on Billboard for 58, seven weeks. When that album came out in 1993, it was <laughs> one, number one in 84 states. You just went in. Yes. So we already know what your favorite fucking Christmas song is. It's actually is. not my favorite Christmas song. A damn lie. It's not my song? favorite Christmas song. My favorite Christmas song is actually from a movie. Uh, uh, it was a year without a Santa Claus. Huh? Y'all never heard? Y'all never heard that movie? No. Mm-mm. Producer Matt, can you please pull up? It was a year without a Santa Claus. It's the most underrated Christmas movie of all time, with the best <sighs> fucking music ever. I'm telling you that I right now. Some money kissing Santa Claus. Yo, I and honestly, yo, if you can, can you play the Snow Miser version? Because this is my um, favorite shit. Steve, maybe what? not because it's called a uh, copyright. Maybe we shouldn't. Oh, fair enough. Well, what does it matter? And like we got fucking. Uh, it's not like we get paid for anything. Okay, let's never like you know work on our future. Go ahead. We will. <sighs> worry about it relax you're gonna play this over fucking this is my shit actually all right you know what because she's gonna keep crying about no go it. ahead go ahead there's no dun, 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 dun. see i know this shit and i'm not even hearing the music this is my shit <laughs> sorry cole <laughs> mr icicle i'm mr ten below friends call me snow miser whatever i touch Is what he's is given. he evil? He is not he's evil. I figure he was he's re- a bad guy. I figure he was regular. He's, he's, he's a bad guy. He's not a bad guy. He is. He is not. Why? Why? Did, why wait. Why is he snow? giving he's you like ba- ruining Christmas? That's not ruining Christmas, because he tries to bring snow to where it doesn't snow, so they can experience a white Christmas. And his brother, Heat Miser, always turns it into rain or fog. And who needs that? And that's a direct quote from the movie. Fair enough. You, you know. like that? No. You guys are just ungrateful. I'm no, sorry. Grateful. I'm sorry. I'm a little bit off the beaten path with my favorite Christmas no, shit. Is, so what's that Christmas movie called? 
It was a year without a Santa Claus. Oh, okay. Cool. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. That is a hidden gem. I promise you, you guys, you'll love it. Have you guys heard of that terrible, like, <laughs> Mel Gibson movie called Fat Man where he plays Santa and this kid is, like, hired an assassin to kill him? No. Terrible. Terrible. I watched it. It was terrible. They actually tried to... I thought it was a comedy, but it was actually a really serious movie. Like, so Mel Gibson plays Santa... Right, and the kid he he gave this kid coal, this rich ass kid some coal because he was a piece of shit little fucker, and the kid hired an assassin to kill Santa, and the whole movie you just follow the assassin like killing mad people to get to Santa. The shots, the, sh- done, the assassin done shot fucking Miss Claus and shit. It was wild. Okay then. Just terrible. I don't know. Just, that's what I'm saying. I'm showing nice fun stuff. She's talking about assassins. So, but anyway, Steve, suck a dick because we got to take a break. Of course it's terrible. It's on Tubi. You know what? Tubi got a few gems. Not the Tubi originals, but I'm saying some old shit you ain't seen in 400 years. It's um, on there. In 400 years. <laughs> so then what's your, top, all right, what's your top five Christmas movies? Real quick. <sighs> bang, bang, bang. I don't really have five. Though. I know. I don't are really are you serious? Myself, yeah, I don't. Of course. Um, Elf. Um, Christmas with the Cranks. Um, Jingle All the Way. Mm. Um, Home Alone. Which one? One or two? Um, two. Two, of course. Of course. Do you guys like two better than one? Yeah, I do too. Yeah. Yes. I don't know anyone who doesn't. Does it? Yeah. Um. Yeah. See. I. Yeah. Home Alone. I feel like I got the Grinch. Much... Wait, I'm not asking for what's the most popular. I'm asking y'all's. Um, yeah, but that's mine. All right. Yeah. What about you, Sam? Uh, yeah. Number one for me be The Grinch, Home Alone. The Grinch, Home Alone. What's the movie where Tim Allen is Santa? Oh, uh, Santa um, Claus. Santa Claus. Oh, okay. That one, Jingle All the Way. and uh, That was good, Nightmare too. Before Christmas. I know y'all feel like it's not a Christmas movie, but whatever. No, I argued it was. Yeah. I think uh, it's bo- it could go both. But I mean, the favorite. Santa Claus, yeah. Let me see. Elf is lit. I so can't believe y'all me, haven't right? seen that. Uh, Go ahead, see. Because every time I do it, then she'll start going. We're good, producer, babe. Okay, so for me, obviously, my number one numero uno, It Was a Year Without a Santa Claus, is my favorite Mm -hmm. all-time Christmas movie. Then it goes... (laughs) Then it goes Scrooged with Bill Murray. Oh, okay. I haven't seen that. That's fucking... That's like teetering as number one. Mm -hmm. And then um, the original Rudolph... What the land of misfit toys the oh older yeah one. Yep, yep. i'll say that uh jingle all the way for sure and Jamie! um so damn a christmas story you oh can't, yeah you cannot did you guys watch the new one no Mm-mm. i have to watch it i'm gonna watch a christmas story on christmas eve and then watch the new the, uh, christmas wait story. is that what tiny tim little no crippled ass no, oh. a, a Christmas story. I don't remember. <laughs> Wait, like, Ralphie. <laughs> Ralphie. You'll shoot your eye out, kid. You don't. Re- Are you serious? I'm not a big Christmas person. You put put me on like a Christmas story. Producer man, can you please type in a Christmas no, story? That's Everybody okay. has seen this. I don't care that much. I just, just need you, describe it to me. I just need you. All right, so you got a young kid. He wants. It's not Tiny Tim. No, it is not Tiny Tim. He wants. Tiny Tim's was Scrooge, right? Yes. <sighs> It's from A Christmas Carol, actually, which, oh, Sam, you're killing me. No, that's the new shit. It's I'm the good. old shit. Oh, that kid. Yes, I, I recognize that, that kid. That's what I got this it. Is. I got it. Yes. I All got right. it, producer, babe. In this mo- I got it. Modern age. And especially the dad dude. That was my dude. That, okay. that shit was hilarious. Oh, I've never watched it, but I recognize that that white boy. Everybody has. Yeah. Everybody has. There's no I way I probably have, have and don't remember. I just recognize the little white boy. I feel like he was in Campbell's Soup commercials, too. Yes. Yeah, he I was, think he right? was. Yeah, he was. Oh, shit. See, I know a little bit. <coughs> no, a little bit. All right. Oh, I love that part, yo. Where he got hit in the face, and then he fucked that kid up. 
He beat the shit out of him. Yeah. And that's a scary redheaded kid, yo. I, I knew a kid like that. He beat me up the first time I met him. Mm. I okay. fucked him up the next time, though. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Thanks, Steve. Christmas violence. <laughs> right? Speaking oh, I'm sorry. Violence, Did you guys Christmas see the one? Did you guys see the one where Santa comes out fat and you just start smacking bitches like ho, 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 ho? That's like, not, what the that's fuck? Okay, first of all, first <laughs> of all, that sounds Hold like. On. Did y'all like that, though? Ho, 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 ho. Actually, that's <laughs> cute, right? That's if you it. want to see Santa kick some ass, uh, <laughs> that is and literally some ho, ho, ho. the new holiday movie. Um, I went to see um, Halloween, and this was one of the previews. And this family was celebrating Christmas. It was Christmas Eve, and everyone's like by the fire, chilling, and they're you know the kids are all excited about Christmas and their gifts. And then some people come in to try to rob mm-hmm. them. And they're tying up everybody. They're trying to steal stuff. They're looking for something in particular in the house. And then Santa comes down the chimney. And, you know, the little kids is like, oh, my God, Santa's here. And then Santa's, like, leaving his gifts out. And then he realizes what's happening and that these kids are being, like, you know, held against their will. And the parents are trapped. So all of a sudden he just starts kicking some fucking ass. And he goes in. He goes hard, too. He starts, you know, fucking karate chopping niggas and shit. I think at one point he had a gun. I was like, not Santa with the gun. With the gat? He had, with the, <laughs> Santa had a gat? Santa was bummed Wait, hold up. out. And he was fucked up at the end. Santa was fucked up He was up all bloody and battered. Yes. <laughs> Wait, yes. does no one ever, did you ever really thoroughly think like, the whole story of Santa's weird, like this strange man coming into your house in the middle of the fucking night. Oh, we haven't talked about this. But you know what? I, I don't. When I was little, I really thought Santa was legitly real. Me too. Like, yeah, we all I, did. I used to climb but I never in between thought. my parents and like look outside and wait and hear for like, I used to think I used to hear shit off the top. You know, like, yeah, totally. But when you do think about it that way, it is a little creepy, right? See, creepy. But, That's see, it's kind of, because I used to think of that. Oh, sister. yes. Violent yes, night. Violent night. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. We saw this in the movie. Of we saw this, my dude from uh, Stranger Things. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. He's killing it. Yeah. We saw that. Violent now night. I know it. Should, now I recognize yes. it. Yeah. Yeah. He was smoking niggas. Smoking. He had like a shotgun yeah, and all that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. What happened? No, what it's happened? Okay. They don't thought of everything. Bay, it's all right. What happened? They don't thought of everything because Santa has never played this role before. <laughs> I mean, really though, has he ever played a kid? Yeah. Ass, what like, about Bad Santa with um Billy, Billy Bob? Bob not right. like, not like that's a, different though. A, a badass, but he was a drunk. He was yeah, but that's different. He wasn't legitly like culture is on mute. It's okay. Oh but shit, I yeah, got my nigga John no, Lake shit, Bazama in here is, as yeah, a bad shit guy. Is, shit's fight. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna go see it? This shit real fight. I'm gonna see this shit. I'm gonna see Wait, that. is this I'm, in theaters? Yeah, I'm gonna see Santa full, fucking up it. some niggas. This, this and like, you know I love Stranger Things, so I'm all about Dennis Hopper. Yeah. Hopper. Oh, my homie Hell, Hopper. Yeah. First but, off, he's eating those cookies with dirty fingers. He came in magically. He didn't slide down the chimney and get all dusty. He came in. Dog. That's he came what I said. He magic. came in magically. Yeah, yeah. And so they were like, his hands is clean. We ain't fucking up Sienna. How does Sienna yeah, become yeah, a, 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 a ops operative fucking this trained what I'm ninja? Like, how, how did, they got to explain hard. that. No, you got to think about it. He's been, he's been going into people's this houses. He had to learn how to fight. Hard. You know what's funny? There's always like biracial children in these Christmas movies. What's up with that? Why is that a problem? <laughs> Why is that curious. a problem? You I, it's not a problem. Just half breed hater. Business. Go it's ahead. It's just something I noticed. There's always a you know, biracial joke. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry, but I believe that we need representation. That no, we're no, not you definitely do. I'm enough. glad that you are being represented only in Christmas movies. Hey, it's the most wonderful time. <laughs> of the, hold on. It's the most wonderful time of the year by the most wonderful people on the planet. You're welcome. I have a rant. Oh, God. I have a slight wow. Go get it off your shit. No, Go for ahead. real. And don't interrupt me, bitch. How many? How, how long me. do you need? Go ahead. Um, I think... How do y'all feel about the Grinch? Yeah, all right. Y'all I wasn't think, really a fan. Y'all think he was misunderstood? Yeah, of course. In what way, Steve? What do you think? He was treated bad by the pe- by the locals. So the he, who's from Whoville? He yeah, those so did called they jolly. Him? They didn't okay, no, him this one. This he is what I think. To no, be- nigga, think about it this way. We don't know why he was banished to the cave. No, no, no. Let me break it down for y'all, niggas. We don't know why he was banished to the cave, right? Like okay. we don't know. 
This nigga is banished to a fucking cave. We have no backstory on why he was banished to this damn cave. On top of that, his only view is fucking raggedy ass Whoville, where it's super bright and colorful and fucking fruitcakes are everywhere and niggas is caroling. That's annoying, right? So I, so I feel him on that. On top of that, right? They say his heart was two sizes too small, right? <laughs> sounds like a fu- it sounds like he a has a disability issue. okay <laughs> sounds like heart disease a issue. Heart it sounds di- like she's trying real hard real for hard. a joke no 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 i'm not trying hard no. this is how i really feel about the grinch i feel like they did him fucking super dirty people just automatically want to make him a villain but not thinking like yo these whoville people the who's banish a disabled man on a cliff on top of that Who's are mad fucking annoying? Who wouldn't want to crush their fucking Christmas? These niggas is caroling all hours of the night. I gotta, I gotta hear the shit all fucking day. The only view I got is Whoville. Like, come on, let's like really break it down. They got a disabled man up there struggling. <laughs> you wouldn't destroy Christmas for these haters? I felt like I thought she was gonna take the minority route. He's the only one of his he kind. He was a minority. That too. I didn't even think about that. Look, I even look. I was so more on the disabled part. <laughs> like they doing my nigga disabled. So like you that. had no problem with the fact. Well, hold on, hold on. Why oh, was the Grinch? In he was the... in an orphanage. See, see, <laughs> they don't fucking put this kid in the orphanage. Look, <laughs> look, look, this poor disabled child. He wasn't adopted, and he wow. wasn't adopted. Of course, you're gonna be up there fucking upset. First off, I was getting ready to say all this, but again, Sam wants. I've never heard this like, in my life. Yo, y'all see the Who's are the the Who's from Whoville are the real Was villains. Was this in the yo. movie? Like the this... Who's from Whoville are really the motherfucking villains. I just he, don't see think... he's actually a Who, so the Grinch ain't even like a different kind of Who. He's a Who. No, what he is, he's is, actually is the same he's a species minority. as a Who. Exactly. But so he's great. He's a minority. He's a minority. You know what, man? I feel for him. I really do. It's fucked up. Wow. He's misunderstood. And and like I said, who's the real villains of the Who's from Whoville? So he was not noticed at a Christmas party by two Who women. Ah, uh, see, <laughs> it is, it's always you, bitch. But he's been, look, he's been a ban- it's always your But no, hoes. it says abandoned in infancy. He's been Told abandoned, right? Yes. So when he came of age, you know, he over here trying to get some bitches. On t- he, he already <laughs> fucking be. He's already been abandoned by Who's. At, in an orphanage his whole life then he's like alright I'm older now got my shit together trying to get me a bitch These fucking Whoville bitches don't want him they are the real villains here I don't care they're the real villains how about this he's they, depressed they he's just, wait wait he's depressed he's disabled like you wouldn't be tight you so wouldn't wait, destroy someone's so Christmas. then that would make his dog his support dog his yep. his emotional support dog, yeah. Okay. Max is his emotional. Yeah. So support I feel dog. like Max is the true hero then, because without Max, I feel like the Grinch would have comp- instead of just stealing shit, he would have set all oh. of Whoville on fire. So I really like the main reason. So basically, strong message is about family, making the best from what you have. However, the most important message is shown is if you're hurt, it doesn't give you permission to hurt others, and hurt people hurt people. Yep, the Grinch never all had a time. family, and was on his own. <laughs> And felt left out of Christmas, so he tried to take so it out like, on fuck everybody. Yeah, I feel him. He, what's wrong with that? I mean, wrong, what, what is wrong with that? But it didn't work. That's the whole. Okay, Grinch doesn't wear pants. We because they're uncomfortable. All no, right. but here's the thing. It, but, <laughs> what, what's your point? The, but the part you're missing is that it didn't work. He took all the shit, and they still came out and was busting that out was, the vocals. Yeah. That's okay. not so. So what he did? He's like these niggas singing. Stuff? What? It, so what it they did? They warned his, his you know. He actually his, didn't prove a point. Teeny tiny heart. He didn't prove any point. The point was actually. I don't know. He proved him. a point to me where it's saying these niggas ain't shit. They seem very pompous and judgmental. They ain't like him because he was green. You know what I'm saying? Colorists. I can go in on the who's from Whoville. First of all, <laughs> For, like like let's really fucking talk about it. You Fuck. know what? If you had just gotten him some who pussy, he would never have done what he <laughs> some did. Some who pussy. <laughs> I'm done. You might be right. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. All the right. times Woo. y'all say that shit about me, I say it Woo. about the Grinch, and it's like, you know what? Nah, he probably right on this one. No, you're right. Honestly, I think that's all he needed was some little who nanner. Some who. That's it. No, he that's needed it. who. He, he needed, needed some who, who railing. He needed. He actually he needed, needed a lot. He needed who. Okay. Family. He needed who acceptance and yes, who pussy. I agree. But he ain't getting none of that. And they banished the to a disabled man to a cave because of the color of his skin. What does that sound like to you, Brittany? 
white people white uh that's your people it's definitely nigga. not white that's your people it's definitely not white because you see w- the black who he wasn't in where the black who's at he was who's at well i'm surprised you haven't appropriated that either so, where they at though I don't know. Y'all tell me. I mean, Where they at though? I'm sure that I'm sure that ghetto version's coming out at some point. I hope so. <laughs> Let's tell the real story. Right. Uh, Dr. Okay. Seuss shot to you know dumb shit. It's gonna be an original it's gonna be an original B it's gonna be an original B E T movie. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Sp- speaking of appropriation. Come on, that, that's funny. Speaking of appropriation. Because we all shit, know those shows are bad. Speaking of that. <laughs> Totally off, a little bit off Christmas. Did you see that avatar that people are saying they're <laughs> culture appropriating? No, Sam. The no. Black, Cause uh-huh. remember, you remember Avatar, right? Yeah. Remember how the main dude, the white guy, turns into an avatar at the right. end? He yeah. dies and turns into the avatar. They're saying it's a, a culture appropriating because he has locks in this new movie. Oh yeah, my culture god. appropriation. And a, no, the white savior <laughs> complex is real, but like, oh my god, I thought that was hilarious because it was it was giving me back to Little Mermaid, Brit, and it was giving yeah. me no, back to this like, is totally hello, different. this is a al- mythology. These are yeah. aliens, and they're not uh, real. <laughs> we're not going into this. I really don't want to fucking go into, you know, appropriation. I was just making jokes. no, no, I'm trying I know. To keep the shit fun. I could give two I don't. Fucks. I actually don't agree with that appropriation. I think it's. I was bringing it up because it was funny. Ugh. Because it's like a same thing. It's like, come on, y'all. This is an alien. It's, like, it's just. Ugh, ugh. Oh my god, you fucking. Seriously. <laughs> you know what? I'm about to turn into the fucking Grinch. You already, you already okay. fucking Oscar the Grouch. He green. That's probably part of his. That's probably like his cousin. Steve, Oscar the Grouch and the Grinch. Steve's Oscar the Grouch for sure. He's over here hating on the shit me and you talking about. Right. Like, what are you talking about? You've been interrupted and talk and hating and I've been interrupting. In the whole time. I've been so, interrupting. Uh, oh. I've been interrupting. <laughs> Sam, all the all the fans who come up to me is like, yo, we here love we the Are you gonna shut up so we can answer? <laughs> <laughs> If people, uh, people, when everybody always talks, is like, yo, we love the pod, but yo, Sam won't shut her face when you're talking. Really? All right, Steve, do you want to tell us I know, right, about you... your Christmas and why you're go ahead, fucked Steve. up? <laughs> go ahead, like, <laughs> no, okay. go right your ahead. Christmases throughout the year growing up, do you want to tell us? I mean, no, nah, Christmas throughout the, the year were fucking dope. Though. I think it was kind of funny. Uh, Tack, uh, going back to some of the shit that you said when you were talking about, did you believe Santa was real? And I sure shit did because my grandfather made sure of it. So before all those other little fuckers came along and stole my thunder because I was the first grandchild born. So needless to say, I was doted upon quite well when I was younger. So everything I wanted, I got. Mm -hmm. So they would put me in my uncle's room. And I would sit there and watch whatever Christmas movie was on and shit like that. And then, you know, they would set up the living room. You know, they would have the rocking chair. My grandfather my grandfather would go up and literally get, like, fully dressed up. Beard, hat, suit, everything. Like, legit. It was really nice. Um, and, yeah. So, that was my shit growing up. You know, from young kid, you know... It, Christmas was big, but as obviously as we got older, more people passed away right. and things like that. So I've just remember like now it's like we're down to like five people. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And it's not quite the same, but mm-hmm. I feel like it's like now almost time for the do over. Like I want to be that person to where everybody comes over their house for the hollow for the Christmas party or yeah. for the Christmas, holiday party, the holiday yeah. party and shit like that. Because you got to have some kids, Steve. <laughs> That's how it starts. Okay, fair enough. I mean, you know, find the right one. Um, no, I'm just saying that's like how you could kind of do the duo where you're talking about. Yeah. No, no, that's that's because Christmas. Like I remember goal. as a kid, it was like that's the goal. When I went to my family's house, it was all the kids mm-hmm. all together playing, running around. Hell yeah, yeah, getting jealous at whoever got what. Ooh, mm-hmm. let me play. Or play you got with the e- new Game or, Boy. Yeah, or play with each other's stuff. Oh, oh, that was a good. Who got the new PlayStation? That's crazy. That was a good Christmas when I got that fucking Game Boy Color. You just made me think about that. Mm-hmm. Why did you I, act like you didn't get anything? About that's it? what I'm saying. No, I didn't. I got like I did. You said you got. You said you. Didn't get that was that new, fucking yo, Christmas. She, I, that hold I'm on. She about. paints she her said, entire upbringing with a shit brush. Did she say she got nothing? She's like, I, I didn't. Got, no, I said that. I didn't get a lot as a kid, and the stuff that my mom would do, like the make a wish, oh. they wouldn't get us the right stuff. But sometimes she'll get one thing, which is fine. Right. I still appreciate it. It was the fucking 
<laughs> asking for ups and getting cleats type shit <laughs> that traumatized me. But no, um, my mom was sometimes like, I remember getting that Game Boy color and then I got uh, Pokemon Red. Remember that, Steve? Of course. Mm-hmm. Of course. Uh, okay. fucking course. I had to start off with a Game Boy, though, and then I had to get the Game Boy uh, color. I've been, um, I, you know what I got from the Make-A-Wish people? Or not the Make-A-Wish, the, the Adopt-A-Family shit? I got mm-hmm. a race car once. You were in the Adopt-A-Family mm-hmm. shit? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yo, my mom couldn't afford it. Yeah, we couldn't afford it. A lot of families. Yeah, yeah. 100%. I, I, I remember. It was, the, it was the only thing I got. Yeah. All I got was uh, it was a remote control car. Okay. I played with that shit all fucking winter. Mm-hmm. We used to have like people come stay with us, like from the church, like from different like countries, uh, and they used to stay with us for like a couple of weeks. And I used to think that was weird, but um, now you know, <laughs> growing actually, up in the holidays, but yeah. we'd have these like random people. I but can you believe it now? Though? Now yeah. growing up and being older, I'm like, okay, we were blessing another family who couldn't, but um, it was it was definitely. Christmas was always theatrical, big yeah. when I was growing up, bigger than it probably is now. We had, we, I lived with my grandma growing up too. So my grandma was with us and my parents and me and my brother. And sometimes my uncle lived with us on and off, um, with his issues, but, <laughs> but, um, my, my family did a great job of Christmas. I just used to be so excited to go downstairs and open up my little gifts and see what was down there. But like I was saying, I never really opened up a lot because everything was set up. So that's what I do my Christmas Eves. I set up all my kids stuff because I wanted to look like Santa just came and took it out of the bag. But, but hold yeah. that thought because we got, got to take, take a break. break. setting up fucking toys so now I'm miserable but <laughs> but um back in the day that's what my family used to do for me setting up toys Christmas Eve and everything looked like it was already like put together like Santa just took it out of his bag and put it under the tree okay yeah it was the same so thing. you don't wrap so it was great see it was good for you it was right? oh, no, I, I had good. amazing Christmases yeah, yeah. so you I don't had wrap. amazing my Christmases. mom would wrap so you guys don't wrap your gifts no Oh, okay. Oh, no. That's the best part. No. Unless yeah. it's like, unless it's clothes or like something from somebody else, but mm-hmm. anything from Santa yeah. or like my, my parents so, was open, like, yeah. out oh, okay. of the tray. So I wrapped, so um, my mom wrapped gifts when I was younger. Mm-hmm. And weirdly enough, she never taught me, just never really happened. But when I worked at Macy's, that's how I learned how to wrap gifts. I said as an adult. Rapping. Yo, they kicked me I'm out. Terrible. I tried I to help. Ki- I'm terrible. Really? They kicked me out. They were like, Steven, no, 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 no. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> no. I was like, yo, I was like, it's perfect on the on these three sides. It's just oh, the bottom. God. Let me tell you something. Yeah. <laughs> these entitled motherfuckers. Macy's goes hard. Let me tell you something. These entitled motherfuckers at me. So I worked at Macy's. Um, ho- I used to work on the holidays. That's it. Just holiday help. And I worked in fragrance. So it's easy because it's boxed, right? Mm-hmm. It's easy. It's easier to wrap stuff like that when it's like a box. And freaking, <clears throat> I didn't know how to wrap. And they were like, the the respectfully, the white ladies that all worked there for forever were fucking shocked. Like, huh? Yeah. You are not what? And I used to be like, wait, that's a thing. What you teach your kids out the fucking pussy to learn how to wrap gifts. So I had to learn and I, and, but it's not no joke because it was like, I learned I was good. But if it was just a little bit off, one, the customer would come back and act, make me wrap it again. Yeah, yo, they don't play. Yo, they, it was like, they a don't whole, even do that anymore. Let me tell you. Thank God. I went to buy a co- no. No, that shit was that. T- no, no, I used like- to have to slave and do the same fucking thing Girl. and wrap people's shit. I know it did suck. Nah, nah, my, I used to be like Judy, wrap this shit over here because I ain't wrapping it. Um, it but sucked. literally, and I went to buy cologne over there the other day, and I was like, "Where's my wrapping?" They're like, "Oh, we don't do that." And Macy stopped this year. I was like, "Wait, what?" Well, but they have people I'm in the mall who do it now. Now yeah, they they've do. stopped. They got people now, in the mall who do it now. Let me tell you something. They got people in the mall. I didn't see any wrapping stations. Let me tell you something. That shit was terrible, Brittany. And I listen. I feel you because I had to slave too. But it was so bad it's not like we got fucking tips for it people didn't appreciate it people wanted clear fucking tape and all this extra shit not like they're giving me a fucking <laughs> t- like, were you nah, using nah, duct tape yo, not like they're giving no no regular 
tape, right? Steve, regular he tape, said, office tape, right? We would have clear but tape. But then they would have the nerve to ask for the clear one, which is a different, you know, it's different than the regular office tape. We didn't have that shit. And they would have an issue and then make us unwrap it. They would go get their own tape. It was too fucking much. Not well, like I'm getting paid these. extra for this shit. Nah, my fuck point. that. I deserved, after all the years I slaved for people and the holidays and fucking oh Black Fridays God. and Christmases Terrible. that I put Fucking privilege. Shut your face. I deserved faces. my shit Set wrapped. your ass on the bed. See, y'all, this That's is my thing. Set your ass on the bed. Sit your ass on the bed like, and, and box. figure out like how to wrap box. it. That's what you got to do. That's what I did. I've set my Listen, fucking ass there. I, I rapped God. this year. Like, I know how to rap because of fucking raggedy ass. Macy's making me slave Yo, over that shit. My <laughs> shit but I, how I feel is my that shit I'm happy is, they, My shit they is perfect do. on three sides. No, my just shit don't. Trash. I, I my shit them. is really my shit good. Is still trash. It's perfect on the first three sides. Just don't look at the bottom and you're good. Man, no, I'm good. I, <laughs> I'll use the whole I, listen, I won't even. I don't even need to. I'm so good. I even tuck in the envelope oh, part, make it nice. Yeah, yeah, this shit. Uh, do you take the? Do you take the string and then you take the? See, the, I I was the, never good uh, at ribbiting the rib ribbon thing, and then you take the fucking uh, with the scissors. The scissors so with Macy, so no funny shit. We had a ribbon too, and I was terrible at ribbiting. But what I used to do is make the ribbon look like a little breast cancer sign and then put the Macy sticker on it and give it to him like that. <laughs> they used oh, to, yo, my manager so hated gay. that I used to do that shit. I was like, nope, nope, this, they, they take it. I was like, that's how I'm going to do it because I could not ribbon for the life of me. You know what? I'm gonna, Just because that was so fucking stupid, I'm going to top your stupid. I, this is completely off Christmas, but it's something that I actually discovered at Olive Garden when I was working there back mm -hmm. when I was 16. So, damn, 20 years ago. Did you get free breadsticks and salad? I did. I used to get to take the breadsticks and soup home. Oh, my God. I feel like yeah. they, they look their... Yo, it don't so, slap like you used to, breadsticks. Hold on. It doesn't. What? It sucks. It, no, me me and my boyfriend went like a week ago, and it was terrible. Are you serious? Even the breadsticks were wild. <gasps> so, I know. And we took... Hold on. Girl, yeah, go I ahead. Know, so nobody cares about your fucking right, terrible right. experience. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> shit, what was I saying? About... Uh, oh, so I created... They might as well pack it up. I created the smiley face salad. What? I can make oh a smiley face God. out of a two-person salad. Okay. <laughs> Word. Ah, Shit on that. No, yo, right? Shit on like, that. Okay. Asshole. Why did you go out your way to do Thanks that? Thanks for that. <laughs> it's not like they made you do yo, that. Like, people they made got us a kick out of that shit. But like, they made us wrap in ribbon at Macy's. You didn't have to do that. But when I started doing it, I did. Did you get extra tips or something? I didn't get tipped at all. I was, exactly. just bored. Oh. I was just bored at work. Oh, all right. I, know, I, just I felt like sharing. I felt like sharing. I was bringing joy. You fucking. Oh, thank you. You fucking heathens. Ugh! Look at you. I can't even be Bring happy around you two. Look, you can't even be happy around these two heifers because salad, they focus in. They're like, oh. what do you want me to give you a medal for that shit? Like I don't a know, declaration a Christmas of cookie or something. I'll take a Christmas cookie. Nah, yo. Let me tell you something. Little Debbie had these fucking <laughs> these gingerbread ice. Gingerbread man, they don't even care. Them shit, them shit used to slap. <sighs> gingerbread man cookies. No, <laughs> I don't really like think gingerbread about cookies. To be honest, these were good. They were soft. They were iced. Oh, they don't, even, they don't make them. All anymore. right, I think I know what shows you're talking about, but I don't. I don't know. So I, I do want to ask before we wrap up, what are some of your more fonder memories from Christmas's past? Um, just something where you'll always remember. You'll always remember it. Uh, one year, uh, so my mom is from the city. She's from Harlem, Bronx area. And my mom moved up here when I was three. So it was just us for m many, many years. Um, one Christmas, my whole family came up and spent it with us. It was great from the city. They came mm -hmm. up front to all me and spent it with us. It was great. I remember that. It was dope. That's what's up. Mm -hmm. Took that fucking bus ride. All right. Uh, I think they drove. Oh, shit, Thanks huh? for stereotyping, you <laughs> fucking white. Uh, did they all? Shit. Did they all come in one car? Uh, we're not Mexican, if that's what you're. That Mexican joke. Yeah. Are you? What about you, Brett? <laughs> um, Shut up. I can't really pinpoint one Christmas because I feel like, for the most part. Ooh, I'm sorry. You know what? Let me rephrase the question then and say I'm gonna start with you again. Who in your, all right, will you be the first or who in your family will continue the traditions that are in your family right now? Oh, God. Um, well. So for instance, Sam, mm -hmm. um, your shit covered Christmases. 
are you planning on doing stuff different when you have kids to be like, you know what? I want to make sure my to kids make it have, special? to make it more special than it was for I you. Mean, I don't. I'm not huge into this. Is, this is the thing. I truly am not really I'll into. Act this. like you. Act However, like you have a kid. You will. No, no. There's certain things that my family has does that cooks during Christmas that I will do for my kids like they make benning which is the pork shoulder you know coquito which is like an eggnog and then um pasteles you know what i'm saying things like that i'll probably take that on and make that during the holidays as and then you'll make Puerto your own Rican traditions well. yeah, yeah that'll be kids. you'll you'll make your own stuff yeah yeah i can't other than i, I didn't have traditions growing up so other That's than why those I asked foods, you, will you do other traditions other when than you those have foods, I'll your bring kids? That with my, I'll do that for my kids. Uh, I don't care about Christmas. That's a great I think you will when you have the kids. Yeah. <laughs> I think Brittany was I right. I don't care that yeah. much is what I'm saying. But yeah, Brittany could be possibly right that I will create something when I you will. So what about birth you, Brit? big head kids out my shit. I mean, I feel like I've kind of carried the traditions of the Christmas pajamas. My family is actually always on us about who's going to carry all this on. Who is? Her God who is? Blah, 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 blah. And who's cooking what? So that is why they're literally um, teaching you, teaching us now mm-hmm. their recipes, what they do, um, how they want stuff made and prepared. And um, they're literally grooming us now. So me and my cousins to really take over mm-hmm. the holidays and keep it going how we've always done it. The only one I feel like I have faith in is Lex. Yeah, she's good. I, I, I don't know why. <laughs> like Lex just she's gives good. me she's like a Christmas. The, she's like she's got it. Shout out to Lex. Yeah, she she's a Christmas. I mean, Shout she's a Lynn. kindergarten teacher, so I feel like she's got that. She's oh got yeah, that so she's always got to make it special. Like okay, natural caring thing, but going on me. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I'll keep bringing a bunch. Oh, <laughs> All right, you see. Oh man, um, I feel like the one thing I'm definitely gonna do is the uh, dress up as Santa thing. At least like when, especially when they're young and they don't fucking know no better. Like around like three or four, you know, when they actually know who Santa is. Yeah, and shit like that. Up until they're like really pops like we, we know like yeah. we can stop now they start learning that at like yeah. i swear like six so seven. uh i'm I, i'm gonna do that for sure yeah uh for them up until that age and after let them that open, i promise let them open one gift on christmas eve and have them think of something great and have it be christmas pajamas because that's yeah. what it was for us so I'm like really are you fucking serious like i <laughs> i do want to do so like like I do want to have traditions as a family and shit like that. Like I said, the complete reset yeah. button, you know, uh, on my family. And yeah, when my grandfather used to do that, I'll never forget that in my entire life. It was some of the most fucking Party dopest session. shit ever. Yeah. Um, like they had the press, like it was like a whole setup. Yeah. Like I walked out and it was a wonderland kind of right. shit. Like they had the train going around the entire fucking Aww. love that. All this shit. Like no, they used to the no, my grandfather used to hook that shit up. <laughs> All right. Uh. So right that's up. that's definitely something that I want to do while I when I get older, when I start having a family and is carry on that shit. Love that. I wanna I wanna be gay just like your family. <laughs> LA. I love it. Sensitive. So, so, uh, gay, gay, uh, and by gay, I mean happy. Yeah, I was just gonna say that. And by gay, gay I mean very happy because it's the most wonderful Word, time. Because you just call Brit family, exactly. Yeah, yeah happy. <laughs> you heard that, guys? Okay, yeah, All right. I'm like, at least yeah, I think they, they like this? me. Okay. <laughs> so, guys. I just want to say Merry Christmas happy and a Happy Holidays, holidays to you, too. Happy Holidays, happy holidays everybody. everybody. The year is almost over. It is. Yeah. We've done amazing. The new year is upon us. It's been us. something. It's been quite something. Mm-hmm. I will say. Oh, and again, guys, uh, podcast update. Thank you again for another absolutely tremendous fucking week. And mm-hmm. absolutely stunning week stellar fucking week um thank you all again for all that you made this december shit nuts like i said last week we're this we are like this close to doing just december the numbers will be more than our entire first year 
So yes, in just December amazing. by itself. Thank you guys. So thank you guys so much from us to you guys for another amazing two years. At least this is our second Christmas. So, yeah. Thanks, guys. So, Sam, would you like to give out the social? Yep, yep, yep. So just Google again. Google Minority Plus One Podcast on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, on all streaming platforms, Apple, Spotify, and on YouTube. Make sure you comment below. Comment, share, and like. Mm. All right. All right. Brittany would like to Long give out your Britney's? socials. Yeah, do my Sam. Okay. Oh, oh God, <coughs> Jesus. P. Wait, wait. I don't even. You know, it's actually it's right fucking up there too. When Haley, she fucks it up. No, I was gonna do. I was gonna do her Facebook. Fuck uh, my ass, daddy. What the fuck <laughs> was that? Oh Lord, it's. <laughs> P. it's wait, 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 wait. <laughs> It's queen underscore b underscore x o. If that's how I sound, I'm Facebook, not really Brittany Haley. No, I've been telling you, if phone sex operate. No, let me tell you something. If phone sex operate and comes back, you would have been. People you would have listened to the show. Who would have been perfect. Everyone's like, your voice is so soothing. And it like, is. I'm it like, is. <sighs> but you know, if phone sex operate comes back, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're the goat. You're gonna be great at that. Go ahead, Steve. I don't have to. All right. That threw me completely <laughs> off. Sin, Sin City was a mafia. What the fuck? Culture. <laughs> Angels like. <laughs> All right, Steve. He just has some random shit playing. All right. So, as for me, guys, you guys already know. This is your favorite part of the podcast. Instagram, Steven.coil.sc. Facebook. First name, last name, real name, ladies. No motherfucking <laughs> yeah, yeah, gimmick yeah. needed. <laughs> so, <laughs> wishing everybody a happy holidays and a Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. And in wrapping up, I'm your host, Steven. I'm Sam Crystal. It's pretty much. And as always, please stereotype, stereotype responsibly. responsibly. And we'll be back next week with another motherfucking episode. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Kwanzaa and Hanukkah and all that other Bye, shit, y'all. Peace. Peace. Thank you all for tuning in to this week's episode of the Minority Plus One Podcast. If you want to be a part of the crew, hit that subscribe, hit that like button, tell your friends. We are available on all streaming platforms so you never have to miss out. As always, please stereotype responsibly. We love you. We appreciate you. Peace, y'all. Shia. Yeah.